Yeah, it says me, Market Vendor here again today. Now listen, I heard a story last week. I mean, I heard it. I said, no, man, somebody got the facts wrong. Apparently, it was being alleged and subsequently proven to be true that the Honorable Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago, Dr. Keith Rowley, and the Honorable Prime Minister of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Dr. Ralph Gonzalez, were both forced in Guyana on their way to the CARICOM Heads of Government Conference in the Bahamas to exit the VIP lounge, where they were apparently in transit, and then to go around to the counter at American Airlines and check in. Now, that apparently is turned out to be a very true story. A market vendor want to ask what fit of madness would have be taken the folks at the airline, an airline that I use frequently and an airline that I like, to do something so foolish, so disrespectful, so offensive, and so outrageous. I mean, to say in this day and age, that is how you're going to treat people in their own territories and countries. Kadir. Hmm? A good Belgian term. Kadir, Kadir, Kadir. Oh, loss. Because in, let me say this. This is not the city council of, from some local council. We are not talking here about the, you know, the, the, the chief from Iwak Rama up in Guyana. We're not talking about a fellow from a small island down in Kariakou who may be the village councillor and therefore may not be known and may not be having a diplomatic passport and may not be anybody of any great importance. We are talking about a leader in both cases of multiple countries because Trinidad and Tobago is two. And St. Vincent and the Grenadines is plenty as well. These are not, these are not fly by night people. They just come into office. They have both won back to back elections. Hmm? Dr. Gonzalez win, I think, five so far back to back. So it can be that he's not known to the people in the airline industry. Oh, last. The comrade is known all over the world. Dr. Rowley as well. And he's a man with doctorates too as well. But more importantly, they are the elected leaders of these countries. Well, Kadir, we would not treat one of your leaders like that. Can you see the president of the United States, Joe Biden, being told that he got, hey, uh, hello, Skipper, come, come. Bring them bags and come at you. No, no, no. You can't go out there, so you have to come around and go around like anybody else. Who you think you are? You just draw public like anybody else. No, you got to come around here, so skip out, come to the counter like anybody else, huh? Huh? You, you, you believe that somebody would take on that fit of madness and treat Joe Biden like that? Or Kamala Harris, huh? No, no, no. They would not risk that, huh? You could see Rishi Sunak being subjected to that, hmm? You can see any European leader. Uh, you can see the French president, Emmanuel Macron. Eh? You can see the Canadian prime minister, Mr. Trudeau, being subjected to that. It can't happen. It would not happen. So why would somebody take it upon themselves not to find a way? Because don't tell me that they're in a way. Because they got to be aware. I can sit down at home and, ju and just check in for my computer. And that's what I normally would do. So if I can do that, and just turn up and go to your counter and hand you the bags. And that is just a market vendor. Well, good here. Uh -huh. These are leaders. You cannot be disrespectful to the leaders of the Caribbean like that. Hmm? These are little boys in the yard. Uh, and even if those little boys in the yard, they should be treated with dignity. But I would understand that in their case, there won't be a VIP lounge. And therefore, they will have to go to the counter and check in like everybody else. Good here, good here, good here. Hmm? What a real lucky, though. Huh? Yeah. In some countries, boy, that player might not left the ground yet. Look, I'm only a market vendor. We'll and come again. And whoever in head office got to send down the right directives, do it now so as to save yourself further embarrassment on matters like this. I'm only a market vendor, word to the wise. I go off and now. You have a blessed and a wonderful day. You hear? <laughs>